a lot of work to save a pretty penny. The system's ugly at the nitty gritty. The American dream is a pity. Most people live and die in a class country to city. Good afternoon! I can't hear you! Repeat after me! No, not yet. I'm not a yoga instructor, but repeat after me. Raise your hand. Raise your arm. One class, one cause. 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 I bring you greetings for, from poor and homeless people across the United States of America. I come to you today as a woman who has been arrested over 200 times in the fight for the basic necessities of life. And damn it, that doesn't make me a terrorist, that makes me a patriot. Wall folks have been occupying Wall Street and occupying financial districts across this country. I've been working with families for 25 years trying to teach them to occupy their homes. This next year, over a million families will lose their homes. Every seven seconds, somebody will lose their homes. When the banks receive billions of dollars in bailout money and do, didn't do a damn thing for the American people, and while our backboneless politicians didn't do a damn thing either, I decided to stand up after my baby sister lost her home to Wells Fargo this year. I said enough is enough. And I'm running as the first female sheriff in the city of Philadelphia to be the goddamn people sheriff. On November 8th, I need you to occupy Philadelphia because once we make history, I become the people sheriff. Ain't nobody going to get kicked out of their homes in the city of Philadelphia. And from there, we will hit city after city after city and we will tell people, why can't we have a sheriff? That represents the people, not the banks, the developers, the speculators, and corporate America. Damn it, let's protect each other and let's run people sheriffs across the United States of America. What I'm doing is not symbolic, it's concrete. And Bill and Ida and Glenn, who's with me today, and millions of people across this country are going to lose their homes. And unless you take this seriously, and not just march about it, pray about it, and sing about it, but help me fill every damn poll in Philadelphia, where that's a birthplace of revolution and change, we can do it again in this country and take our country back. We can stand up to the banks and corporate America because we are a good people in this country and because we believe in a cooperative society and because our movement is based on love and a care for each other and we're going to take our country back. God bless.